Okay, let's delve back into this shitstorm. So from what I remember of the last time I partake partook? Partake? Played this. We made some friends and had to head off to write some poetry, I believe. So that's gonna go well, isn't it? Especially with someone who's as literate as me. Illiterate? Yeah. Alright, let's go. So, with that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori. Natsuki. Yuri. And of course, Monica. The, uh, the most Japanese girl of them all. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Probably not. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Yeah, knew that was going that way. Well, I mean, the two on the left, is it what? Sayori Natsuki? They look identical. I mean, apart from the colour of the hair and the eyes, but Christ. I I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me and I guess that starts with writing the poem tonight I hope we don't actually have to write a poem oh wait no that is some jazzy music I like that Anyway, it's time to write a poem. Pick words you think will f pick words you think your favourite club member will like. Something good might happen with them. Oh god. Okay. I notice there's only three of them down there. That's interesting. What? Well, at first I want to know what's going on with these little f like, can I do anything with them? No, they're just having a little dance around there, whoever, whatever they are. Okay, so, so words that I feel my waifus might like. Why is there suicide down there? Sticky suicide? Uh, Alright, I'm not going to go suicide. I'm going to go... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Giggle, let's go, it's just, yeah, it's a bit of, a bit of nice, nice one, we'll go for giggle. Um, what have we got here, excitement. Uh, yeah, that word. Jumpy, sweet, intellectual, infinite. Calm, daydream, kawaii, flower. So we're going with giggle. Uh, shit, there's 20 pages of this. Okay, I'm trying to speed this up. Giggle. It's got to be kawaii. Oh, she liked that. Yeah, why not? Let's add Masker into that. Oh, she like that. Okay, she's the... S oh, hmm. So she's the one that likes the cutesy stuff. Yuri's the one that likes, apparently, this massacre stuff. So... I'm thinking let's go with Yuri. Let's see how much of a shithole this goes down. So it could be be Raph or Disarray. I'm thinking Raph. She like that. Yeah, she like that. Okay. Um, judgment. Yeah. Um, despise. Yeah. I uh, see where this is going here. Fest. Mm, Festa? Uncle Festa? Okay. Yeah. Death. Well, that's a. Oh. Ah. What a twist.
And let's keep it on the uh, the deaf and macabre. Let's train, you know. Let's keep it nice and bleh. Let's go with Fiddy. Yeah. Uh, unrestrained. Let's give a cry. Oh! Shame! Shit, shame. I should have that woman behind me just for playing this game. Shame. Mm. Let's get some creepiness in there for a bit. Oh, no, that's hers. It's gotta be dark, surely. Nope, okay. Um. I like a bit of tre uh, no, treasure. Uh, well, it's the name of the game, isn't it? I do love me some anime. I want to get back to this death path, you know? I never thought I'd say that in my life. Uh, let's go Misfortune. Nope, okay. Last vacation. Oh, we seem to be going down this emo path now. So it seems we've got, we've got emo, we've got cutesy, and we've just got pure deaf Satan, which seems more fun. Cage. Yeah, there we go. Let's hopefully get the last two for her. Uh, extreme. Last one. Come on. Gotta be horror. Alright. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> oh, I'd forgotten about that. Hi again, Godzilla-san. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Godzilla son. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. No. Oh, it's like this game knows me. Oh, come on. Like he does. Oh, wait. Oh shit! Who was the gangster? Damn it! Continuity. Uh, I think it was Natsuki. Let's, let's see what the other girls were like. Just to, let's go on. Oh come on! Like he deserves any slack. Sayori so told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. I think it was Natsuki. So let's fuck with it for uh, continuity and go with Natsuki. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join the clubs this year. And last year too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you clearly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Natsuki f finds herself stuck between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Between, say, Monica and Manga. Okay. Or as Americans say, Manga. Manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops. Plops. Lovely way of saying it. Back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Godzilla son always gives it his best. As long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. So you worry, that's because your room is so messy and distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Silly busy. 
Is that so? <laughs> okay, so she almost set her house on fire, which I'm assuming she lives with her parents. But you know, this, <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I had to do things like that. Oh, crazy bitch. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh, yes. How come? You and Godzilla son can become good friends too. Um. Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Ah. Uh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori. Eh? Me? Um. Not really. Maybe show there. Oh no, I'm completely messing up these voices. Let's just let's just go with it. Yeah, let's just have to forget it. Forget it. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. So we made it sound like a big deal, and it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm oh, sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey! 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 Come on! Hey! Don't worry about it! Hey! 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 First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. <laughs> or was I? So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here it is. Yuri reaches in her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that you might thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This this is how is this girl accidentally being so cute? even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. Oh my god, I might have to read. We all know I can't read. That's why I decided to do my first ever videos with a reading game. Okay. Come on, Tom, get it together. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect the Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki, who we think is the gangster, is rummaging around in the closet. I think we're just going to do... I'm going to make up voices for all of them. Let's just... Let's have fun with it. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. Catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book as she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. We have new music. Ah. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. So now I get the feeling this is a pathway I've chosen because of all the words that she seemed to like that I picked. So does this game have four endings? Because I know it's not long. Hmm. Oh, it might have to be four playthroughs. Yeah. Anyway. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. And that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. Ah, no. Sumimasen. I was just spacing out. I mutter this. Since then I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... 
That's the book you gave me, right? Mm hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious how you have you have two copies of the same book. Ah. Okay, so we'll keep her with the cutesy accent. Well, I well when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Oh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well, mm, Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. In Russia, we have a famous book called the Portrait of Markov. In Soviet Russia, it was Markov's portrait. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. Kind of like mine right now. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. Oh yeah, you know those. Those are... They're everywhere, aren't they? And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to, who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? You really made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah ha ha ha! Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. This girl is losing it. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Godzilla-san? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories... They challenge you to look at life from, the new, from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals, or their own philosophy that they believe in. And suddenly, when you thought they related to the protagonist, they made out... They have made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. Oh, Yuri. Oh, Yuri. The classic Yuri. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologise. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. It happens, it happens. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please, stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. <laughs> ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. Ah, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book that I put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, well, she looks pretty scared now. I'm not making a pass, I promise. Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone else. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. 
Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realise that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologise a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide... Oh God, that's on the way that was going for a second. I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, and then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the pages. Here. Ooh. Oh, we are very close. I'm loving her... Her, her very straight-edged ear. Ah. Yeah. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Oh look, you can see our hand as well. They actually modelled something for a player. Ah. I did the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face as she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? Eh? Gotta do that every time. Gotta do it every time. To turn the page? Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Oh shit, I just noticed she's actually looking at me. That is horrible. Look at that. Oh, that's... Creepy, that's like one of those paintings that you know, the eyes follow you across the room. Ooh. I glance over Yuri's face and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah. That's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me... Yeah... Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I can turn. So I turn it, but my own vi volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb. Gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her. As she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me a little of you a little bit. Y you think so? Huh. She from one of those local human experiment prisons, you know, just down the corner by the spa. Hmm. How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. She's also second guesses, but she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like, she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I I see. You remain silent for a moment. But Godzilla san that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh that's so embarrassing that you think that Wait, wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really don't know 
I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Dot, dot, dot. The dreaded three dots. You never want that. I guess I'm... Uh, uh, I guess I'm more meant that it's kind of cute. Ah. What are you saying all of a sudden? So we had cutesy for Yuri. We had gangster for... Old-timey gangster, of course. For... Natsuki. Who I feel I may have got wrong. So... Again, fucking with the continuity. So Monica will go with... Pirate. Because, you know... Okay, everyone. Sounds a bit like the other one, doesn't it? I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough... No, I can't do that. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Yuri exhales. Spared from fishing chin. F f fishing? Fishing her fort. We'll go with that. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, it's not... It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Ow! Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, gosh, she's bloody shy, isn't she? She's got no preference either way, okay. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left the, left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Yeah, tell me about it. I couldn't find much... I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well... Now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically put out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting for her where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I did the same myself. 